The Americas Trading Group was founded in 2010 as a technology company specializing in electronic trading in Brazil. COO Arthur Machado joins me to discuss the market environment. Arthur, welcome. Thank you, Nick. So tell us more about ATG. Americas Trade Group is a broker neutral, high performance liquidity center which connects brokers and end users with the key markets uh, in the Americas, such as US, Brazil, Colombia, Mexico, Chile, and Peru. ATG uh, offers uh, the buy and sell side, um, full support in electronic trade solutions uh, to, the, to the Latin America market. So we provide an array of products and services uh, to ensure that uh, the clients will have best order execution and strategy uh, control. So what was the key need in the Brazilian marketplace when you started and how did you go about servicing that need? At that time, Brazil had an underdeveloped market and the financial community uh, underutilized electronic trade solutions. So there was a lack of companies specialized in electronic trade solutions. So considering uh, the experience that our management team has in the brokerage business, we were partner of one of the largest brokers in Brazil, which, which was sold in 2008, plus the fact that we were pioneers in deployed uh, electronic trading on the Brazilian market, we decided to create ATG to fill this gap. And today we are the largest uh, electronic trade provider in the region. And have you seen a significant increase in high-speed trading activity in Latin America? And if so, where has it come from? Definitely. And ATG is helping the buy and sell side to access these markets uh, electronically. Uh, High-frequent trading uh, currently accounts for 15% of the whole trades in Brazil. DMA, direct market access, accounts for more than 50%. And part of these numbers represents an automation of the trading process. But there are also new players in the market. In fact, most of them are UK and US investors. How do you see electronic trading evolving in Brazil over the next few years? The Brazilian Securities Commission, the CVM, um, has begun a reasonable discussion on, on uh, Brazil a new regulation. And this is very important. And the most important is much of the industry uh, has been made positive statements on um, favoring opening the, the market. So we are very, very confident and I strongly believe that Brazil represents today a huge opportunity for new venues, providers and vendors. So we are very, very optimistic as well. What then does Brazil need to do to move its financial markets forward? Three basic things. First, uh, introduce uh, real competition at the exchange level. Second, uh, make our market regulation friendlier for newcomers, both local and international, and be supportive of real competition and innovation in the electronic trade solutions and products. Provide us with uh, some detail on your partnership with the New York Stock Exchange. Certainly. In June, we submitted a request uh, for a new stock exchange called ATS Brazil, American Trade System Brazil. NYSC holds 20% of this new venture and ATG holds 80%. We are prepared to launch the exchange as soon as we have the license and we, we expect uh, that happen to the sometime next year. And what were the reasons, the factors that inspired this venture? The fact that the local market does not truly represent the Brazilian economy. We have a huge opportunity down there. Only 10 stocks uh, accounts for more than 50% of the whole trades in Brazil. On the future side, uh, five contracts, only five contracts, accounts for more than 90% of the whole trades. We have only 306 listed companies. It's, it's, it's nothing considering the size of our economy. We are the sixth economy in the world, so there is a huge opportunity and, and we are there to take it. What will be the initial focus of the exchange and how do you see it expanding in the future? At first, we concentrated on stocks. We have a strong background in this area and you know how to create liquidity, so it is an obvious choice. However, uh, futures, derivatives and even if it, uh, fixed income are in our plans down the road. We are not afraid to be bold, but we need to take it one step at a time. Right? We cannot lose our focus 
which is offering a viable solution, a viable option for investors wanting to uh, uh, efficiently access the Brazilian market. So is this part of the overall plan to open the Brazilian markets to the rest of the world? We believe that we have to open up the Brazilian market. Brazil, uh, if Brazil wants to attract new investors and have a strong and a dynamic market, being connected globally is a must. And we are the fourth fund industry in the world with over $1 trillion in assets under management. And for Brazilian invest abroad, it's hard. So it doesn't make any sense. We have to be cured, we need to be cured of this Peter Pan syndrome and start thinking big. Arthur, thank you. Thank you, Nick.